Hey everyone, it's Stranger Grayson here. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I don't have a review for you guys today. I actually have a horror movie haul. Yes, we haven't done one of those in about a couple months. Um, mainly because I've been so busy and um, haven't really had the money to get movies. But I was able to pick up a few um, during those past couple months. And the last one I needed came in actually today. So I figured why not go ahead and make a video. So... Today, uh, we have, uh, a co uh, let's say about four, five movies, four, yeah, four movies, and there might be some you know, some you don't know, so, anyway, uh, now, one of these movies that I have is actually a remake of a movie that I reviewed recently in December of 2022, and this one is not on Blu-ray from what I recall. Um, if it is on Blu-ray, I've not been able to find it. Uh, and that is Black Xmas, the 2006 remake for Black Christmas. Now, I've heard a lot of mixed reviews on this movie. I've heard of some people say it's a bad remake. I've heard some people say it's an interesting remake. And I've heard some people say it's an actually pretty alright, fun remake. Um, I'm not really sure what to make of this yet. I'm going to save this for, uh, 2023, uh, December 2023 for, uh, 2023 Christmas. But, yeah, I don't tend to trust a lot of remakes because, like, they don't really tend to be faithful to the original adaptation. Okay, now that's controversial, but I will say some remakes are not bad. They're actually pretty good. Like, um, the Texas Chainsaw Massacre remake, from what I recall when I last watched it, I actually enjoyed it. Um, that may change, I don't know, but I actually enjoyed that one. It's just most remakes out there tend to not be as good as the original. And I've heard this one is one of them. Um, apparently this movie has a lot to do with, like, incest and, um, eyeball eating. Yeah, I, I don't know. I, I'm a bit hesitant to watch that if it's just, like, all incest and all that. I, I don't know. That's kind of a touchy subject to be on a YouTube video, but... Anyway, um, stars Glenn Mor uh, director is Glenn Morgan, the dude that, um, produced Final Destination, uh, and also stars, uh, Lacey Chamber, or, Lacey Chabert, Katie Cassidy, and Michelle Trachenberg, uh, and Mary Elizabeth Winstead, I know that one, um, also know Katie Cassidy, but that's, uh, I really only know those two, so, yeah, that's, um, Black Xmas, let me know what you guys thought of the movie, um, is it any good, let me know, uh, I'm definitely gonna review this for Christmas of this year, okay, and that is my only DVD, I picked that one up at a thrift shop, the rest of these I ordered online, and one of them is actually, a movie that came in today and that I want to review for April Fool's Day this year. And that, of course, is the horror movie April Fool's Day. Now, this is actually a Scream Factory release. And I've heard a lot of people tell me it's actually not that bad. Um, it's directed by the dude that made three of the Friday 13th films. What is it? Um, or produced uh, by... Uh, some of the Friday 13 films, or I'm sorry, it's produced by the guy that <laughs> that uh, produced uh, three of the Friday 13 films, and that is Frank Mancuso Jr. Uh, yes, he's very well known in the Friday the 13th community. Um, written by Dan Yellow, uh, Dan Danilo Bach. I don't know how to pronounce that. Um, Deborah Foreman is in this. I do not know her. Um, but yeah, this is the Screen Factory release, uh, picked it up for about 20 bucks. Um, here is the inside, it actually comes with a reversible cover. Um, here's the, take the Blu-ray out. Here's the, um, my gosh, this thing's stuck. Okay, there we go. This is the, uh, disc, by the way. Here is the reversible cover. I might just keep it as the original, but, um, that does not seem like too bad of a reversible cover. Uh, here's a disc, by the way. But, yeah, that is April Fool's Day. I'm going to be covering this uh, this year, so be on the lookout for that in April. Or right at the beginning of April. Here's a spine if you guys haven't seen... Or, I'm sorry, here's a spine if you guys haven't seen that. 
Uh, yeah. Um, can't wait to review this one. I've heard a lot of good stuff about it. Okay, now, next Blu-ray coming up is actually a horror franchise. Um, that seems fitting for, like, the summer campy type thing, but I kind of have another franchise laid out for that, so I might either review this in May, most likely May, maybe July, I don't know. But anyway, that is the Wrong Turn franchise. Uh, now, this comes with movies one through five, does not come with six. I unfortunately do not own six at the moment. I believe uh, they did not release six in America um, at least on Blu-ray. I know they have it, like, at other foreign Blu-ray releases, but this only came with one through five. Um, Wrong Turn, Wrong Turn 2, Dead End, Wrong Turn 3, Left for Dead, Wrong Turn 4, Bloody Beginnings, and Wrong Turn 5, Bloodlines. Um, and 2, 3, 4, and 5 are unrated, while Wrong Turn is rated R. Um, I've heard this is kind of like a weirder franchise. A lot of the sequels suck, from what I know. I uh, have not seen any of these movies, but I really do want to take a look at them this summer. Um, let me know how good they were down in the comments. Uh, kind of got mixed thoughts on it. Um, now, while I don't have six, I was able to pick up uh, one more of the franchise on Amazon, and that is the Wrong Turn remake from 2021. Uh, heard, heard a lot of mixed things about this. I was actually told it's actually one of the better entries in the franchise. Um, I don't know. It stars as a dude, what's his name? Uh, Matthew Modine. He played Papa in, um, Stranger Things. Uh, he is right here on the cover, or on the backside. Now, apparently this one is way different than the original, um, but still has the same name. It's just way different than the original. Still involves, like, hiking and stuff. But other than that, I was told it's completely different. Also stars Charlotte uh, Vega. Uh, yeah. Um, seems pretty interesting. Let me know how good or y'all thought the remake was down in the comments. Uh, I don't know. Kind of mixed about reviewing this. And that is it for my horror movie haul. Got a pretty few neat pickups uh, for this one. Uh, here's all the movies. Uh, let me know what your guys' thoughts on any of these movies were down in the comments. Please don't try to spoil them, because I really want to review these sometime, and I don't want spoilers. So, yeah, let me know down in the comment section down below what you guys' thoughts are on the haul. And make sure to stay tuned for a review I got coming out tomorrow. Of course, it's St. Patrick's Day, so yeah, be on the lookout for that. Got some special, uh, maybe on a movie I probably won't like that much. But anyway, thank you all so much for watching. God bless, and have a good night. Bye, everyone.